Hi guys. Right, today we're going to do some bang graph dance, okay? So before we start, we need to make sure we've got lots of space around us because we are going to be moving side to side when we're doing our dance moves. So move anything out of the way that you may bump into, okay? You can also take your shoes and socks off for dance if you would like to as well, okay? So, warm up to start with. For our warm up, we're going to do a warm up that we may have done at school before, the body parts game. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to be jogging on the spot or jumping and skipping different movements and then when Miss Ward calls out a body part, you have to stop and put that body part on the floor. So if I was to show hands, you'd stop and you'd put your hands on the floor. If I was to show tummy, you'd stop and you'd put your tummy on the floor. Okay, so off we go, jogging on the spot. If you've got space, remember you can jog around, you might jog forwards, you might jog backwards. Hands, so stop, hands on the floor. Well done. Jogging again. I want you to do it as fast as you can. When I call that body part, put it on the floor as quickly as you can. Knees. Up. Well done. Put both knees on the floor. Fantastic. Right, this time, hoppy. Off you go. Change legs, elbows, quick, quick, well done. Up you get, jogging on the spot, your bottom, quickly put your bottom on the floor, perfect, your tummy, your bottom, your tummy, up you get, jogging on the spot, you should be getting a little bit warm in there, well done, your fingers, that's not your hand, your fingers, well done if you've got your fingers touching the floor. Your nose. Can you put your nose on the floor? Be very careful. Well done. Put your tummy. Put your back on the floor. Put your tummy on the floor. Stand up. Star jumps. Off you go. Perfect. Elbows. Quick, quick, quick. Elbows on the floor. And stand back up. Well done, guys. Hopefully, you're a little bit warmer now. So, we're going to do now Bangra dance this morning. So I'm going to show you four hand symbols in Bangra, okay? And then we're going to put those hand symbols into some Bangra dance moves, okay? So the first hand symbol that I'm going to show you is the flag. So the flag, you need to put your hands together, bend your thumb in, and your fingers squeeze together as well. So this makes our Flag. Give it a go, so copy me sword. So hand up, fingers together, and bend your thumb in. So that's our flag. You can do it with the other hand as well. So fingers together, bend your thumb in. That's our flag. Okay, flag hand. So that with Miss Ward. Flag. Well done. Next one, we're going to do the fist. So for this one, put your hand up, bend all your fingers in to make a fist. Again, you can do it with the other hand as well. So a fist. Say that with Miss Ward. Fist. Well done. So we've got flag, fist, flag, fist. Well done. That's two down. So we've got two more hand symbols to do. Next one is called the fan. So for this one, we need to pop our hand up. But now we're going to stretch all of our fingers out. Just like you're waving to somebody, okay? So that is our fan. And it's easy to remember. It's like when you're hot, whew, you fan yourself. So that's our fan. Really big stretched fingers. So, show me fist. Well done. Show me fan. Perfect. Remember, fan is the big stretched fingers. Show me flag. Excellent. So we've got one more to go. This next one is called the B, and it's because it looks a little bit like a buzzy bee. So you're going to put your thumb and your first finger together. So squeeze them together, and your other three fingers need to be stretched up nice and high. And you can see it looks a little bit like a buzzy bee flying around. And you can do it with your other hand. So that's our B. Okay. So let's recap. Show me flag. Well done. Show me fist. 
Show me fan. Show me B. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Right, we're now going to put those hand symbols into some Bangra dance moves. Okay? So, our first move that we're going to do, we're going to do it for four counts. So, that means we're going to count to four. So, let's see if we can do that together. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's see if we can clap to the beat of four this time. Let me swallow count to see. And we're going to do four claps together. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's see if we can keep doing that till Miss Ward says stop. So watch Miss Ward first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Ready? Three. Two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Stop there. Right, we're now going to do four claps and four stamps. Let's see if we can do that together. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So we have just made a beat because in dance we always work to a beat of four or eight. Okay, so all of our moves, we're going to do them four times, okay? So the first move is bangle step. So for this one, we need this hand symbol. Who can remember what it's called? Shout it out, tell somebody at home. Well done, it's our fist. So we're gonna make two fists, we're going to cross them over, so it looks like an X. And we're going to stretch them up in the corner. And what we're going to do, we're going to move to the side four times. Watch carefully. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to change to the other side and move for four. One, two, three, four. Let's do that together. So make your fists, make an X. Stretch it up. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So that's our first move done bangle steps well done next one is going to be called spades and for this one we're going to use our flag hands and we're going to put them to the side and all we're going to do we're going to move our flags up and down what number do you think we're going to count to four well done so watch me sword one two three four one two three four let's try it together Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's put those two moves together. So we're going to put our bangle steps and our spades together. Watch me sword first, then we'll give it a go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, let's see if we can do it together. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Right, let's add another move into our dance then. This time, we're going to use our buzzy bees, okay? And we're going to pop them together with our elbows up nice and high. And what we're going to do, one bee is going to fly away, then it's going to come back. Then the other bee is going to fly away, then it's going to come back. Okay, and remember we count to four. Watch me sword first. One, two, three, four. Let's try that move together. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's add that into our dance. So we're going to do our bangle steps, our spades, then our bees. Ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. 
perfect guys great work right once we've done our last move i want you to finish with a bit of a, a pose okay so you're going to use one of our symbols to pose okay so you might use the fist to pose you might use the fan to strike a pose at the end okay so watch miss ward i will start the dance from the start and i'm going to add my finishing pose at the end so one two three four 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 and then i'm going to finish in my pose okay so i'm going to leave you with a bit of a challenge now i want you to try and video yourself doing our bangor dance and show me your finishing pose at the end and I would love to see some of your Bangor dance videos on the school Twitter. Well done guys and I'll see you later.